an absolute doozy of a series in that last map. Ridiculous stuff. And I'm sure things are going to get a little bit more hectic here, Dan, as I'm looking forward to the Tox versus Venga matchup. And we know that Venga has been performing extremely well on par with Rafa at the time. Um, I suppose if he wins this match, he'll be... Uh, probably one of the people with the least amount of maps in terms of loss count, but I'll check that in a second. But Venga, you know, they're pretty much a quick gymnastic, extremely aerodynamic, very fast, very um, adaptable player. He's been a champion before back in uh, 2021, extremely strong in his own right, and has already got off to an incredible start in this Pro League regular season alone here. But he's got to be careful though, because with Tox, you know, used to be a champion once upon a time in the past. Of course, a very open-ended player. Very hard to know what to expect from him sometimes. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see if we can create a cause for concern here for Venga. Yeah, couldn't summarize it much, but I don't think we could huh, ironically name a more erratic player than Tox. Yeah. You know, when he turns up and he plays well, then get out of his way. But we, we also know he he still has those deficiencies, those lapses in concentration, and just misses a beat with the fundamentals sometimes. You know, serious, old serious S. Serious was flawless today. Mm. Old serious S. And we've said it time and time again. That was kind of what we saw from Ron in, in the map one today. You can't make those mistakes in the QPL. Maybe you could a few years ago, but the standard is the level it is now, and you just can't make those mistakes. And then always going up against a former champion who, as you rightly put it, has only lost one map all season best performance so far to date so we need to see the best of tox today if this is going to be a close series if the best of tox doesn't turn up i'm expecting uh, a venga 3-0 yeah that's kind of what i'm expecting as well but let's not muck around here dan let's have a look at the picks and bands to see what's going to be upon us here in this final series of the day so it's going to be molten falls corrupted keep and then Blood Covenant. I think, and just a very extremely quick look at the champion picks, I think very standard from what we uh, tend to expect. Yes, Tox gets his slash though. Mm. So that's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Um, Venga, Lee, um, if they in, takes out the Anarchy instead. So we're going speed for speed on Molten Falls. Moving on to Corrupted Keep, as you said, pretty meta there nowadays um, with the BJ against the Ranger. And then we end up in Blood Covenant, which, you know, this is actually a fairly <laughs> consistent draft from what we've seen today with the uh, the Visor against the Galena. So you know, I'm surprised neither one of them maybe picked a Doom on Blood Covenant, but I can see I can see why, where the strengths lie. Galena is a little bit more unusual, but you can still get a good level of overstack up on that map as well. So, yeah, pretty much comfort picks across the board. Yeah, I'm kind of getting the same vibe as well. Let's look at these champion picks as well. I think no matter what's going to happen, though, this is going to be a very entertaining series. I love to see two players with a very fast and aggressive strategic uh, play style to really go at each other's throats. We saw Venga and Max do it last time. It was uh, nothing short of spectacular, and this should also be uh, something in terms of a similar magnitude here. But again, like you mentioned before, it does depend on how Tox is going to perform. We know that he's a very open-ended player. We don't really know what to expect. Yes, he can adapt to certain situations. Yes, he may do certain things here and there, which is maybe a little bit different to everything else. But one thing he's very good at is playing for that high mobile agility and his speed. And still, even at his age at this point, incredible aim skill across the board. But we'll to see how Venga is going to be able to tackle and contend that. So against a slash, especially if it's a Tox slash, it's going to be very tough indeed. Final series of the day here. Getting to the first map between Tox and Venga. Kick things off from Tox's uh, perspective. Absolutely. And this is the only map that I feel the... The picks are the most even on. I, I prefer the range on the next map, even though the, the, the BJ is really good. And I, I do prefer the Visor on our Covenant. So, for me, this is Tox's best map of the three so to get a victory. Not that he's not capable on all maps. Just on paper. Oh, Venga, hearing that TP backing down, picking up the heavy straight away. But Tonk's main thing is he's got the timing. Nice little bit of damage there. Venga does miss the rail. Tonk's backing away, but he's the one with the stack advantage. May not have position. But of course, perfect stance here to grab this heavy. A yep, lot of respect coming out from Venga. Decides to double back and play, defend the end exit. Tox just lurking around at the moment. 
Playing it fast, but playing it cool as well. To see if we can get another angle to see if Fenger's either going to be rotating from rail, TPing up to shotgun, or maybe go around to LG this time. So, you know, throwing each other. Mega's up in five, but Heavy's up right this second, and Tox is just doing a good job just being on standby. But I kind of feel like right now he's hoping the opening comes to him rather than vice versa. Maybe Tox will change this up, we'll see. Yeah, both players playing slow. Calculated at the moment, trading major items, but more than happy to do so. Particularly, obviously, when you're a light champion, any unreturned damage is pretty crippling. And as we'd expect, we're going to be heavily rail based in this so far. Wenger with zero damage to his name in the first two <laughs> minutes. Unbelievable. The LG Bella comes out between the two. Tox. Okay, have to stack that. Tox. Yeah, and Tox leaving both major items pretty much for free. So, either way, as long as he's managing his own stack, it's not the end of the world, but you can see how healthy Benger is, and he hasn't even popped the eject. Mm. Lovely damage there. Tox had a return rail. Benger get away. He hasn't popped the inject still, so he's confident he can. Does hear the pickup as well from Tox, so he knows the exact timings of both. He knows he can get this mega and get out. So, there you go. Tox showing his hand there. A slight fumble down the door frame, but that's not really going to change too much. Just trying to get a little bit of an edge on each other with the try but as you can see, as Tox has got this better position now, and as you can see, Venga clearly realized this and just back to wait instantly. The whole point of the try belt for Venga is to try and push him back a little bit more, push him back enough to be able to secure that heavy. Couldn't do it as he gave Tox too much position at that angle and then had just to leave the heavy and go straight back towards the Mega. As the heavy's up in 12 once again. It's been a very good series so far. Sorry, a very good first map anyways. Both these players are just taking an element of caution, but also at the same time, Gonna strategically outdo each other by a certain degree, but yep. Tox now picking up this mega soon. Well, I thought Venga was gonna push that. Instead, he's gonna keep control of the exit once again, but Tox goes through the low way. Once again, they're just so slow and calculated. Venga um, averaging 20 damage a minute <laughs> <laughs> so far. Oh, massive rocket to the face of Venga from Tox this time. Venga has to retreat. Can Tox make anything of this? If uh, anyone in chat's quite curious, it's actually 604 damage to 143 of Vengas. So not really. It's, it's funny because it feels like it's a lot more, even though the scoreline's all oh, zero zero. But nice. no, no one really giving each other an edge at all in the slightest. But Vengas up in this uh, damage count. Now it's actually uh, just over doubled now, so it's at 323. But main thing is getting a little bit more action, but. Just a fast pace of chess here. Oh, lovely read by Bengri. He knew exactly that he could push that one. How weak Tox was. And he stuck around a little bit too long. And that's all it takes. You just wait for the next light to reappear. Heavy's up in 10. Picks it up. It's going to see if it can make the rotation. Heavy's up in 7. Tox has got to read the vis, so he doesn't want to really try and go for the angle. LG comes up from both his players. Having to back away as Venga took quite a bunch of that damage, just barely missed that rocket. Mega's up in two. Looking to circulate round once again, and this is where Venga's got to be a bit cautious here. There's one mistake. It's going to cost him dearly here. It's Tox has picked up the Mega, Heavy coming up in five. Venga just forfeiting the map now. Playing keep away. Tox has both major items to his name. What can he do with it though? That's the question. Oh, the LG comes out here from Venga, but the NJ comes out as well. Some good rockets keeping Tox at bay. Oh, Derail would have been a great finisher to 
Grab that second kill, but oh, he done it in oh. style with the mega to boot. Lovely stuff. Yeah, he's just letting Tox push into him at the moment and executing extremely well. And goes going back around to get positional advantage. Got the drop in him, but Tox does sneak away with the heavy. Yeah, Venga favoring this high ground at the moment. He's more than willing to let Tox pick up major items. He knows that he's the one dealing this unreturned damage on the defense now. So he's prepared for that as long as he gets this upper level. Ooh. Good initial rail, but Tox needs to try and figure out a way to get himself back in this matchup. Big rocket, but Benga's still very healthy. Once again, has has the inject. He's barely had to use it. He's actually reserving it purely as a defensive tool at the moment. Good rail there from Venga. This is all he needs to do. Just continue to chip away at Tox. But let's be real here, Dan. It's actually Tox meant to be doing this, not the other way around. Yeah. This is the first rail, but Tox needs to find an opening, but needs to try and hit and hit these shots here trying to progress towards the heavy but if he secures it it could be a way in for him and does manage to get it tickles him a tad with that last rocket but oh no and it just deteriorates just like that with that tribal think it now Goes back for the TP, catches him with the LG as well. It's literally trying to put lights out for Tox, but he has to really win this engagement in order to have the opportunity to climb back up. Still only on 79 HP as both players just spamming the hell out of each other with those rockets. But the main thing is Venga's got the heavy, so... Rockets did pay off item six seconds apart. As Tox does pick up the Mega. We're in that territory where Tox has to do something. There, there needs to be some some life in this game if he's going to bring this yeah. one back with a minute to go. Yes, you can convert adequately on Molten Falls, but at the same time, you have to get a frag first. Not wrong. That would be a start. And Vengo's just not having a victory lap just yet, but just lapping the map just to kind of get an eye. Oh, to 60s. That's going to itself just to you can see he's trying to catch up to him which he should be able to don't get me wrong but the problem is by the time he catches up to venga how much damage is he going to consume oh he hits the rail nice. but the engine comes out on venga but yeah it's like the next 10 or 15 seconds he really needs to go for this now if he wants to try and tie this up yeah he has to barrel through but venga's just playing plus black playing keep away and there is very little the slash can do with the air control just makes this anarchy incredibly difficult to Capture. You can hear where he is and barely even see him, let alone do damage. Well, 12 seconds left. That's going to be it as it was a yep. close affair in itself. But Venga just did a great job with that commanding league. Comes up with the LG and <laughs> in style, we're going to finish off with that trade. And it's going to be 3-1 the win to Venga in this first map of the series. Most amount of action we had all map. It yeah. was so calculated and careful and... Very low action, but very intense in terms of just the mental game of that map. Having to read each other, play that careful, calculated game can, can take a lot of stress. Feel that Tox maybe should have picked that tempo versus four towards the end earlier, because Venga was respecting him a lot as well. So definitely could have done that. Uh, this was the this the maneuver that broke open the game. And then any time from there, it was more Venga just keeping Tox at arm's length. Whenever Tox was trying to push, Venga was ready for it, playing the choke points. And this was a great realm. It certainly was. Nice little way to finish things off is, uh, like I said before, didn't get a lot of action, but this is a great thing about Quake. You know, if you like the chess style matchup in the mind games or the absolute chaos and mayhem which you get in some of the other matches in terms of air affairs, and of course, you're in the right place. Venga, to start things off three to one. And it's, it's weird, considering the Slash Anarchy matchup, we expected something a little bit more explosive. But of course, they did, you know, they did use um, the fundamentals which they had in terms of the mechanics of both champions. But 
yeah, they just weren't really giving each other any room to take advantage of each other when it comes to stacks. Corruptor Keeps going to be up next with the BJ versus Ranger pick. Your thoughts, Dan? Your thoughts? It won't be as slow as map one. Yeah. I I like... I like both champions here, but I like the Ranger more in the hands of Wenger. The way he, he usually can play this Ranger is probably the best Ranger um, in the QPR at the moment. It's fast, it's intense, it keeps the pressure on his opponents. So I want to see that from Wenger, obviously. See how much respect he has for Tox. Obviously, Vaskovic has just great damage output, which Tox will want. But at the same time, I just feel that that range of pressure will probably be too much. Yeah, it's what I'm kind of a little bit worried about as well, especially for the items as well, not just for the damage. And it's it's going to be quite tough. I think BJ suits the way Tox is going to play, especially on Crutter Keep. Um, I think the opening first few minutes is going to tell the tale of the story potentially going into Crutter Keep. Um, hopefully, Tox won't let things spiral out of control. He did it in the last game, considering how fast and crazy the matchup can be, even on a map like Molten Falls. But he did perform quite well, considering how awkward Wenger made things in terms of the feelings and the process of contesting those items as well. How Wenger's going to contest the items this time round, it's going to be beyond me, but let's see. I'm sure it's going to be a uh, incredible fair in itself anyways, as Tox, Wenger, map number two, Wenger currently up 1-0 in this series, in this final series of the day. Back and forth so far. Tox has picked up the light, mind you, and he's got a heavy machine gun to boot. He's waiting for Wenger to circle round, but he's actually just prepping early. Early bird for this heavy. Tox realises this, but he's like, okay, we'll just go for this mega for now. And he took a tiny morsel of damage on Wenger just then, but Wenger looking just to let the more weapons in his arsenal once again. Heavy up in 15, four seconds between the two items. Anger respects it that you will, just doing little chip damage from above with the items to where they are until now. Not one player could take both, but with that split now, the next rotation is pretty big. So I feel that Beg is going to play more around that heavy to try and steal that away. But Tox cut him off there, did a lot of damage, which changes the game plan from Venga. Instead, he's going to have to try and do some damage on the pickup of Tox here to try and prevent him from getting that full double rotation. Instead, he actually bullies his way in, gets the frag, gets the item, and hopefully, inevitably for Venga, will take the Mega as well. But the Jewel is there to prevent that. And that was a damn good G award as well. Oh, it goes in for the light, but... Oh, nice. Oh, he stops him going for the light as well, Dan. Uh, Tox blowing the lid off there with his LG. That's what we want to see more of. Mm. More action. Quite early for this. So Venga's got a little bit of time to push on in, but that and LG doesn't want to take that mid-range fight. Yeah, Venga with a slight, slight stack advantage here. Decent tripod damage considering how fast he was actually going from the LG. LG battle comes out between the two and Venga Ooh. comes out on top by 20 HP. So they keep him back with a heavy machine gun, but the dual wood machine gun comes out for Tox. 55 on that last oh. rocket, so it's going to keep Tox at bay just a little bit, just to try to calm the lad down a little bit. Exactly. Trying to contain him, but he's got so much stack now, he's pushing him, but without the LG, he's just running into these rockets. That was careless from Toxis. Venga wanted him to do that, no matter how low he was. We'll take that all day. Tox is going to get caught again here. Uncertain of the intention. Oh, catch him again with the LG. He's dropping on down. Good damage. Oh. And he doesn't burn the heavy, sadly. Five to one now in favor of Venga as things have escalated very quickly over the last minute and still cleans him up there. They're trying to bag that Mega, which he has done. It could be getting worse here, Dan. Yeah, this, this is the moment where there's a big question mark over what the game plan is for Tox because it becomes predictable. And 
that start of throwing your body at the wall in Quake Champions doesn't work as effectively. So, he has got back into um, a degree of control now. Can begin to stabilize, but doesn't have an LG, and Venga knows this, which is why Venga's holding his ground here. Not long as Tox did a fair amount of damage in that previous fight. We found out though, as he's still charging into that red room with the LG, gets away. Got to a slight stack advantage. And I love this as well, how vo how proactive venga has been, just collecting the odd health bubble here and there, but also continue nice. to fight. So that was great stuff from Venga. Mega, getting up any second now, and Venga's on the hunt once again, Dan. Yeah, and Tox is trying to do this ship damage, but then he's also going in aggressive at the same time. So it's, it's not a hit in the here nor there. Very early for this heavy as well, so... Venga knows he's going to stick around. Venga has time to restock and get back across. He's actually just going to instead favor playing slightly more reserved with a 7 1 lead now. Deal this extra damage, preventing Tox from getting out. Oh, no. Ooh. Isn't this rocket? Do you when LG comes out for oh. Tox and Tox is just flying on in? <laughs> We've just came. <laughs> oh, it's got him again, though. Just give me a time for if he takes it down. He doesn't. The mid air oh. rocket comes out from Venga to put an absolute halt to any potential comeback. Yeah. Tox gave no Fs there. No. <laughs> it just flew on top of Venga. Stealing away the items. But he needs to make this pressure count. At the minute, Venga's managing it. Oh, dear me. Venga. Using the orb just for the safety measure. If he's in 12, Venga's in 16. But the dual wood machine gun tucked. Tox loves that. They need to try and get the trade off. How do you get that frag? <laughs> I don't know. Ball goes to mind. Gonna stop the trade. Should be able to get away from this. We know how much of a pain in the backside the tribalt spot is. Oh, the tribalts as well. Just the damage. Tox is so weak. Directly underneath, just playing with his food at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> just feels like Tox is has some sort of laser heater on his opponent and just has to barrel towards him at all times. <laughs> what do you mean, like a fly around a light bulb or something? Yeah, look, he's, Venga's playing the items and just spamming behind him and Tox is running into everything. I mean, at this point in the game with the score difference, doesn't really have a lot of choice, but at the same time... Tox just not... loves to fight, mate. He Basically, loves to yeah. fight. <laughs> Probably why his combat skills are so good. But yeah, this is Ooh. why he's an open-ended player, because you don't really know what to expect from him. Sometimes he adapts well and has control of the items, plays it slow that like we saw the last game this time around. A lot of uh, in-your-face kind of attitude. But at this point, though, when you're 12-3 down, kind of makes a bit of sense. Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of the reason you are 12-3 down is because of yeah. that. <laughs> you're, <laughs> so not you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Make it 20, 24 6. <laughs> yeah. You enjoy tilting yourself to another dimension. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, he's uh, getting closer and closer into the Shadow Realm as it is. Oh, the damage he's just been taken from these rockets has been unreal. I mean, again, though, he pretty much has this, just needs to secure it by making sure just making these brilliant defensive or reads with the rockets. A bit unfortunate, run out of rockets actually speak of the devil and the tri bump, so to speak. Yeah, a bit of a shame. It was a, it was a nice start from Tox, but sadly things have got way out of hand now. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Look at, if you look at you look at the damage, it looks even, but then look at the score, it's definitely not. And it's not even that the items are that one sided, it's just the, the combat decision making. Is, is so poor. The Tox is almost having to do twice as much damage for these fights as Venga, whereas Venga's cleaning him up whenever he wants. You're not wrong. 20 items to the 12 Tox. 
damage wise, down to 490 damage more than Tox as well. So the big the big difference is also the lights. Fengus rotated and controlled those light items. So whenever Tox is spawning, he's doing this and running straight into Venga with no armor. Oh, Venga trying to keep his distance. But... Cleans him up in the end. I'm gonna, not gonna. I like the LG, mate. I'm a bit a big fan. Well, the pink one. Yeah. It's a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit different. I can't remember what it was. It's like, I don't know what the rocket launchers with the hearts on it as well. I've always wanted that, but I just can't get it, mate. Just can't get it. Sad. Get, get good. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the case, I'm absolutely stuffed in that department. 40 yeah. seconds left. Since uh, yeah, at least we can both see. We both agreed on something. Mental, isn't it? It's just non-stop combat from both players. <laughs> but obviously this map is it's long over. And Venga will take the series. Now it's up to Tox whether he can have a, a respectable performance to make it two to one. Yeah, sure will indeed. Venga just looking to try and close this out now. Well, he closed out a couple of minutes ago. Some of the directs he's hitting. I thought side gives was good last week. Dear me. Oh, oh my god. Definitely a lad who doesn't have a day off here, but that's going to be it. Second map, 16-4 in favour of Wenger. It means it's going to be a 2... Oh, sorry, 16-5. Excuse me. The 2 series currently going to the last and final map here, Dan. I think it was Visor Galena on Blood Covenant. You got one right. Uh, oh, you stop it. Oh. <laughs> who, who was who? Something. Who was who? 50-50. Um, 50-50. No. <laughs> Thank you, Visor. I tried. Oh, <laughs> my God. I tried. Did my best. A bit bit cringe, but I tried. You tried. Anyway, so did Tox in this map. And unfortunately for him, he almost tried too hard, it would seem, as, <laughs> as he uh, lost control of his decision-making and combat and forgot to play the items. It's as simple as that. The items were massively different, but Venga nearly doubling in that department and just played, obviously, you could see, a lot smarter. Um, Maybe frustration from Tox, I'm not entirely sure. But either way, it wasn't the best performance we've seen. And Menga just did what he had to do. He played careful, he played the items, and he allowed Tox to run at him. It's as simple as that. Yeah, it's not really... In terms of getting in depth, in terms of what occurred on this map, I think, of course, around the five or six frag deficit cycle halfway through, we knew it was pretty much a, a done deal. It kind of felt like any road to victory Tox had, Venga put a stamp into it straight away and just put a halt to it. We saw it was a good example in that red room earlier on, as Venga just... In terms of his mindset and just making Tox feel like there's no comeback into this matchup. And yeah, of course, you know, there's little things like, yeah, not running into a situation constantly every single time your opponent's picked up every single item. But by then, he was way past it. He was like, okay, crap to keep. We've seen what's happened. Can't do any more than I can in terms of what I did on CK. Just let's just move on to the next one here. And uh, Blood yeah. is going to be a little bit different. Of course, you know, having these uh, medium style champions, no slide champions, none of, it, none of that shenanigans. As Blood Covenant, every time we see two champions of this caliber without the slide mechanic or any kind of speed and mobility, it does tend up or end up being a low fragging game. But we'll see if, uh, <laughs> see if Tox put a change to that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not sure what that was, uh, but you can see the, um, <laughs> the rocket damage from Venga just, just showed you how what, what that game consisted of. I think mm. it was like 2.3k rocket damage from Venga just because yeah. Tox was barreling into him. But you're right, we're moving on to a map now where that type of game should not happen. It should be far more calculated. It should be significantly rail based and rail heavy. Uh, neither one of these champions have the capability to control that mid level of the map effectively. So it's it's a lot more strategic than that aspect. And Tox it's, it's really in Tox's favor to try and keep it a little bit slower and, and play the, the heavy side of the map more, the bridge side of the map more, play around that overstack, um, try and keep control of the heavy. And if he can control the rail as well. Whereas Venga with that uh, pissing sight needs to be playing around that. So it should be, as you say, a lot slower place, a lot more calculated. Yeah, we get, I mean, a lot more low frag games in Blood Covenant in recent weeks just due to the champion matchups. Starting from Tox's perspective. On a few rockets just to buy himself a bit of time. Let's have them heavy machine gun, but... Gets the bubble just in the nick of time. Venga in looking a very good spot already this early on. Yep, absolutely.
absolutely. Tox without that rail, and when you're a Galena or a Visor for that matter, it is so difficult to actually get that rail. You have done none of that movement. You only have the opportunity to either walk on it or rocket jump across. So Venga's conscious of that. Oh dear, Tox is going full on aggressive. It's going to work out as nice. well. Venga not expecting that, missing the first rail. Tox blows the map open. Venga's been picked up though. This is a good start from Tox. Very, very close to the Sova stack. Interested to see what rotations he's going to make to try and keep these totems in check as well. Look at Venga, just very, very disciplined. Not even showing any vision, but Tox knows he's around that area. It's just a matter of how and when he's going to creep on up. And he hasn't got any rockets, so sadly he can't rocket jump up to try and catch Venga. I'll just pick up with the LG ammo is here to get the rockets as well, but you can't really fight back that well either. Just gonna dive in with the LG, you absolute madman. Good LG damage there to boot. And heavy's gonna be coming up in the next 10 seconds. Both items very close together. Yep, talks more than confident with his stack that he had to push on through. It was a bit risky going into the over um, into the piercing side. But made it work. Hanging it now. Has a rail, but not in a healthy position. Oh, this overstack as well. Toss is going to take so much advantage of this. Vengas up. It's going to be Vengas. Sure, Toss is not going to be crying about it too much as of yet. But if he cleans up the Toss, which he is doing now, then it's going to be a cause for concern here. Overstack was going to come up in two, but it's going to throw a Totem down anyway. Heavy's up in two. And Tox in prime position now and good fake rocket there. Yeah, but as you say, Venga taking out some of the totems at least is a, is a blessing for him. Venga's going to have to wonder what is he going to do to try and get his way back in this match. It has to stack it. Good LG coming out from Venga. Oh, the rail straight afterwards. Let's have a totem up. And he's also up here, but Venga, he's going to back away, which means he's not going to have no idea what the time is going to be. So we'll have to see real or realize at 45 oh. when he's going to pick that up. Rail just took out two totems. That was nice. Just use the, the piercing sight. Spots out where Tox is, down by Banana. As you say, he doesn't have a, a concrete idea of when the heavy is. Do not die. Ooh. Trading rails here, Dan. Drops down for that light. Also had to make a first just in case. The sneaky devil puts the totem up on top of the statue. Venga just managed to hear where Tox was just before doing that drive by here. Good nice. first rail again. Replenished his rail count just in the nick of time. It's looking good so far from Tox. It's he's stabilized in control. Looking very good. Yeah. Well, that's not good though. Unsure as to why he felt the need to pressure that. Venga punishes him significantly, but he gets out to fight another day. The Mega is up as well, so he can restack, but definitely needs to check himself before he wrecks himself to phrase a 90s famous phrase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't remember last time I heard that. Bringing it back, mate. You are, you are, yeah. Even though we're probably... <laughs> Hey, we're 80s kids. We're, we're too late 80s growing up in the 90s. I think that's our, our issue. Not one of those people that's like, yeah, we're 80s kids when it's like, we're probably like one or two. <laughs> yeah. For like one or two years during the 80s. Yeah, oh, I remember the 80s. Yeah, oh, they were just great. No, they weren't. We're just in our diapers the entire time. It's the heavy. Nice. It's still up. Venga gets, oh, sorry, Talks rather gets his third frag. Oh, he hits the next rail as well here. Dan, oh. here's the second. Oh, it's kind of close. Does have to back away, but 10 seconds until he has that overstack. Looking in prime position now, we're just at the halfway stage here. Hitting another rail onto Tox. 
Sorry, onto Venga rather. This is what we want to see more of. Just a lot more calculated and when he's connecting, which is whoa, 65% rail, a lot of them flick rails. Becomes this is the scary beast we know. Still plenty of time left though, Lethal, so let's not count our chickens. Mm. Death is the only release. You're not yet got a bit of faith from Benga, considering the rails he's pulling out from his backside. That was ridiculous from that angle as well. Mega's up. Of course, Venga well aware. And he's found the two totems. This could pay itself justice. Look at the rocket damage as well. And Venga's looking to stay alive. And he does. Kind of close. 36 HP. Heavy's up as well. He took a lot more damage than he wanted. But the big thing he has done is he's taken that rail away from Tox. Now yeah. Tox needs to absolutely re establish himself. He's also taken a couple of totems down, even though there is another overstack to come up next. But that lack of a rail is huge now. Mega taken, of course. Good rail there from Venga. Rotating back around again. He's in the piercing sight. Good nice. first rail. Yeah. Looking for the second, but Tox isn't going to give too much away. But at some stage, this could be a great opportunity for Venga to try and Close that second frag out. Sadly, he could not. Almost back to equal yeah. stacks. Tox almost has to forfeit this mega in favor of the rail at this point. As I say that, he's actually got aggressive through the TP. Lovely rocket, but no weaponry to close this out. Venga's goading him in, and he has lost out on the mega before this. Yeah, Venga been... Oh, he's got the overstack. Venga doesn't know. Well, Venga, Venga might know, but either way, he can't pressure now. So Tox has done a decent job there to... Went out that heavy, and he should be able to rocket jump over to finally get himself a rail. So well played by Tox. Oh, the damage there. Hits another. Two minutes, ten left remaining. It's a regular occurrence when you've got two medium-sized champions with not too much mobility. Create this low scoring game here as he drops down and he hits the rail to boot afterwards. Not gonna secure the frag. Instead, he's just gonna rocket jump back up after the heavy. And he has no. to get this frag now, though. This is clean as possible, which it is. Yeah. Minute 45 left. Right before the next mega and the major items are so far split now. Tox spawns on the low ground, has no weaponry, only an LG, a starting machine gun. Venga knows the timing is all the time in the world. He's a lot of damage, but he ties it up. Oh, guess away. It takes a run of some of that damage, but Tox, of course, cannot engage yet. Venga's up in two, vote. Venga's gonna give that a miss. Tox is gonna pick that for himself. He's dropping down, just collecting all the goodies down below. One I'm just going to quickly switch it over to Tox, actually, to see what it's like to this totem count. Only one, so of course, nowhere near that overstack, but it'll be beneficial later on. So 50 seconds left. Heavy's going to be picked up here. Then use that piece in sight to try and work to his advantage, but not going to happen. Tox looking extremely good. Not as good now because of the LG damage. Then it just managed to do it onto Tox. Tense. Next frag's gonna win this one, so no mistakes. Venga has that full control and the piercing sight up now with three seconds to go. And hitting that rail means we know what's coming next. There we go. G G. Oh, I thought maybe a 20 minute overtime damn, but nah, not happening. So it's just gonna end it right there and then call it an early night. 692 damage in comparison to each other. Marvellous stuff indeed. So good stuff from Venga. A great start from Tox. Sadly, he wasn't able to you know, secure that win outright, but he made a good performance nonetheless. The first one, of course, um, very even part of the mind games. No one could really fit the bill in terms of how they're going to try and proceed against each other and try and find an opening. But in the end, Venga was able to crack to keep 
pretty much say hit and miss really Tox just had enough and just was relying too much of his combat skills and not enough item control and there you saw Tox good control overall to a certain degree but Venga with a little bit of creativity at the end a bit of flair style points and to be able to secure that 4-3 yeah, I thought map three was brilliant. Map one was obviously very slow, very calculated. Map two, as you put it, was the absolute polar opposite of that. Zero calculation, zero chill. Um, <laughs> Not map three, and map three was was a great in between. Sox put put all of the ingredients together and played a more stable map. There was still some some errors here or there. Um, you also got to credit Venga that Tox had periods of dominance in that map with both control um, and just stringing together some incredible rails. Venga had to adjust and play reserved and kept himself in the game. And then when, when the pressure mattered towards the end, he was able to stabilize, get that control, and ultimately win the game. So that, that map three was great throughout. And I think every time we watch Tox, it's, it's normally quite like this. And I always end up saying the same thing is, I want to see that Tox every week and every game. <laughs> Not not sporadically. And if, if that happens, then he will solidify himself in that middle to, to, to upper leaderboard. But at, the, at this moment in time, there are so many good players in this league. We just need to see more consistency as well. Yeah, Tox doesn't like to show this side of him every single match because it'd be too much of a treat. You can't have too much of a good thing, Dan. This is the, uh, this is the issue. And you can see there, Tox, 60% right. <laughs> rail, 46% for... Um, for Venga, they obviously find a lot more shots, kind of average things out a little bit. But yeah, good stuff from uh, Tox. It's like you mentioned before, I'd like to see a lot more of this style of play from him. I don't think it was uh, too bad at all. First and third map, very good in itself. Crop to keep. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, uh, we'll let that slide. I think we will, just uh, in general. No sliding champions, no no issue, yeah. no problem. But um, yeah, I, I kind of feel like not just this series, but a lot of the series overall over the course of the day we've had has been... Um, remarkable in itself. We've had a, you know, a few upsets as well, like with uh, the Zeniku and Rafa matchup. That was just incredible to see that entirety of it. We had a close series as well between Strong Sage and Killson with a couple of maps to see um, what indicators we have for Strong Sage, how he's going to perform for the rest of the season to be really challenged to this point. And he has proved himself worthy here. And uh, so is serious. Look at that start. 3 0, not really uh, too shabby. So, what was it, 65% LG on map three? That was yeah. nuts. Yeah, and certainly something uh, rail on the same map. It was something ridiculous. Yeah. Like That uh, Avac Chain series was, was bonkers as well. I mean, yeah. All, pretty much all the series through the day. Uh, I think this was with the worst of the series of the day, if we want to call it that. You know, I think every series today had actually all maps were were insane. So I would um, recommend watching them if you missed out. Yeah, I might even watch a couple of them myself because uh, we really were sport for choice. I wasn't too sure how things were going to go. I knew it was going to be quite a spicy day seeing some of the matchups with the Rafa Zen matchup, Strong Sage Kills. And everyone has like a bit of context or storyline behind it nonetheless. But no, you know, I agree. It was sort of an incredible day in itself. But that is all got with time for here, here at the Quake Pro League. Dan, any final thoughts before we uh, head off on our way? No, no, it's good to be good to be back with you, Lethal. Good to be back casting, even if no one appreciates my attempt to celebrate Brazilian culture. Otherwise, <laughs> um, yeah, another another amazing day. I think we're not even a halfway through the season yet, and we've already had so much great quake. All these great players, amazing communities. So, here's to another great week. Another great week in itself. We're just at the third third way mark. Can you call that halfway mark? Third, third way mark. Way mark. Yeah. Third way mark. I'm no. creating English as I go, <laughs> but are. sometimes Dan just puts a stamp of authority saying, no, stop it. Stop making up words as you go along. My vocabulary is fantastic. But anyways, thank you to Dan for being along my side to basically hold my hand for the entirety of the broadcast. But not only that, thanks to everyone at PGL for the production, Bethesda and you guys at home in chat. It's been emotional as always with the memes, the copy pastas, all the shenanigans you get up to there in chat. We love every single bit of it. But apart from that, that's for me, for us, for everyone here. We'll see you next week in the next version of the Quake Pro League.